Katie Johnson. I'm the Assistant Aquatics Coordinator at the Schomburg Park District. We're at Meineke Pool and it is finally warm and sunny out here. So we are getting ready for the opening day of the pools. We open on Saturday, June 1st, and we are excited. So we're going to take a look and see what went into making this pool so pretty and ready to swim. A couple months ago, or actually a couple weeks ago, this pool was kind of dirty, yucky. It was closed for the winter, but now look at it. It's gorgeous. Now, how did you go from the yucky pool to this beautiful thing? Well, first we had to wait for the ice to melt. That, that would work. <laughs> <laughs> then we uh, have to drain all the old water and start uh, cleaning up the heavier stuff and a lot of scrubbing and power washing and a lot of hard work. Well, it looks fantastic. Now, you can't just like turn the tap on and fill it with regular water. How do you fill, I mean, this is a lot of water. How do you fill this pool up with water? Um, we use a couple of uh, fire hoses. Um, there's, a, I think, a quarter of a million gallons of water in this pool. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of water. Um, that would be kind of exciting to see. Now, the diving well up top, you'd fill that with fire hoses also? Yep, we um, fill both pools with the fire hose. Um, takes a few days um, to fill them and uh, after we fill them up then we could start uh, the pumps. So you gotta get the pumps ready, all the chlorine, all the good stuff that makes the water clean and safe for us all to swim in? Yep, that's uh, the whole process. Alright, well they've done all the hard work up here. Let's go downstairs and take a look at the filter room and see what's going on underneath. All right, we've seen how pretty the water is upstairs, but now how? We are underneath the pool. How do they get it so nice and clean? All right, so this is Fred. He's going to tell us what's going on. Well, all the water from both the pools comes through this basement and goes through a whole filter process before uh, it can go back upstairs. So all the water in both those pools, which is about three quarters of a million gallons, goes through this basement and every about five hours. Wow, so all that water every five hours gets basically cleaned up. So where does it start? It comes from the pool and it comes in here maybe? Yeah, the, all the water, first thing it does, it come into our surge tank, which kind of holds water uh, to get ready to go through the uh, filter system. Um, from there, it goes through the uh, first filter, which catches all the big stuff. It's like the leaves, the um, toys. <laughs> yeah, all that fun stuff. Um, Hairballs. <laughs> it happens. Then uh, from there it goes through our Filtrex, which runs on um, a DE uh, substrate that catches the real microfine particles. Uh, it's a real good system, and that's why we get the crystal clear water. So all the stuff that we don't see necessarily but needs to be cleaned out of the water goes through this big old machine? That's right. It all gets filtered through there. Wow, it's a lot of work to keep our pools nice and safe and clean to swim in. Yeah, uh, it is a lot of work, but um, you know, year in, year out, um, the guys are good at doing it. Oh, the pools definitely show it. So now where does the chlorine come in? Because we know that it needs chlorine, right? Um, well, on the other side over there, um, we have our chemtrailers, which monitor the chemicals in the pool, and it will add chlorine or a um, pH minus, uh, carbon dioxide um, to bring the seal uh, pH down. Very nice. Um, well, it sounds like it's a rough job, but you guys know what you're doing, keeping our pools clean. All right, over here we have our one of our two chemtrolls. We have one chemtroll for each pool. Um, the water comes through the chemtroll, and the computer picks up um, millivolt signals for pH and for our O. ORP uh, chlorine readings and it will add based on our set points what the pool needs so that we're not just dumping a bunch of chemicals in the pool and maintains them um, every minute of the day and we'll add it as it's needed. All right, we've made our way over to where it catches all those helicopter things coming from the trees and the leaves. Let's see how it does it. All right, here we are at the pre-filter, so uh, we'll see what the basket looks like today. Wow, there's a lot of water in there. Let's see what we got. So 
So we uh, pull the basket out here and we'll, we'll clean all the debris out of it. And uh, we'll put a uh, clean one back in and we can restart the filters. Wow, it's kind of like your vacuum cleaner filter where it catches all the, the goop and then they're going to clean it, put it back in and keep our pools so nice and clear. We don't have to see this up in the pool. It's all down here. It's fantastic. Wow, look at all that stuff in there. Well, that was quite a tour. Thank you so much for showing us the behind the scenes, what goes on. Um, the pools look fantastic. I'm sure Bach and Atcher are looking good too. Volcany Lake's still a little dirty, but we can't fix that. Um, but thank you so much. Um, now everybody come on out and enjoy the pools. All right, thanks again for coming out. Thank you.